Hello everyone, my name is Tusar Garg. I am certified senior sales for developer. So as you already know, uh, this is the upcoming lecture for our field service lightning. So let's come to the today's agenda. Today we will discuss about service appointment and work order line ID. So let me start with service appointment. So what is service appointment? Uh, as you already know, we previously we discussed about service resources, work order, and other things, right? So, appointment. Appointment is something like if we have some work and if we have some resource, right? So, to perform this particular work, we will do, we will arrange some appointment, right? So, a service appointment is something like a schedule appointment or work order for the field service technician okay so like uh, i have one work order to perform this particular work we want appointment of some technician right so that appointment is known as a service appointment simple way so let's come to the practical manner so that you can understand very well okay so this is our sales force as you already know so here if you can uh, click on new button okay so here you can see that we have many things here okay so like let me create one new service appointment so parent record i am using any any test account i can use okay so start date i am using uh, seven and due date i can choose eight okay uh, one more thing if you can see one thing in in our dispatcher console Okay, dispatcher control uh, currently I am not explained very well, but you can see that here the dispatcher can see the overall view of the uh, overall view of their technicians or overall view of the system. You can see that. Okay, so currently we don't have any service appointment for Tusargar. We don't have any appointment schedule. Okay, this is totally blank. Okay, so let me go and start arrival window. I am choosing seven window arrival choosing I am. Using eight schedule appointment I'm using nine appointment I'm using eight okay schedule and I am using eight and uh, two a.m. okay and define save this record okay must so schedule start must be earlier than the schedule end okay so where is my okay so let me add eight here okay so see one service appointment resource is uh, service appointment record is created here okay so now now my service appointment record is created but is i assign any resource for this appointment no currently i am not assign any resource right so what i need to do i need to go to related and for this particular service appointment i am assigning one resource okay so i am assigning my name okay and click on save so yeah one service resource is assigned to this uh, service appointment so let's see in our uh, dispatcher console yeah very fast <laughs> so you see that uh, to, for tusar garg one service appointment is uh, scheduled and uh, this service appointment is start uh, at 12 7 october 12 and i guess it's end on 8 okay so it's very long service appointment then generally it's only one hour or two hour but i schedule for one day okay so and here you can see all the service appointments currently you see only one service appointment because uh, in our system we only have one service appointment but whenever you create more than one service appointment you can see more than service appointment here also and for every service appointment which service appointment is assigned to which resource you can see everything apart from the you can drag and drop things and many things you can do here you can uh, you can check which date you want to see or you can filter out many things you can do here okay so i can discuss the uh, dispatcher console and get chart in our uh, another lecture but yeah this is how you can see the service appointments and other thing okay so let's jump on the next topic which is uh, uh, our work order line item so uh, i guess we already discussed about the work order so work order is something uh, you can say that is any work or any task right so I have one task which name is um, internet fitting or router fitting. Okay, for fitting the router, 
we have some small small task like first i need to make the connection with cable right second i need to fit the router third i need to uh, do some uh, some uh, fitting or something like that okay so for one particular work for one particular work order we have some small small task or we have some part of a task right so that is small small part of a task or that is small small part of any task is known as a work order line item to perform any work order to do any work order we need to perform some small small task and those small small task is known as a work order line item in simple way so let's come and see the demo of this part also okay so this is my work order so i create one work order here which is cable connection okay for cable connection uh, what i need to do i need a wire also okay i need to do some uh, what i can i do i can i can create one more asset is uh, uh, fitting right i guess account and yeah <laughs> this is required i know that so let me choose one account and contact here and here. So you see that to perform this particular work order, we need some work order line item. Like we need to fit the cable, we need to uh, we need cable wire or many things. To these small small task is known as a work order line item in our FLS. And uh, this is our work order. Work order, I guess we already explained. Okay, so in our uh, another lecture, we will discuss about more things like how we can book appointment from the work order directly, what uh, what is this candidate tab, and many things we can discuss. So thank you so much for joining this lecture. We will meet soon in another lecture.